Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Ultimate General Civil War for part two of my attempt to take Richmond in an uh, adventure that did not go so well. So I, this is the last piece to my Ultimate General Union Let's Play, playing through the Union campaign. Now you may say, wait a minute, we've already seen these videos, we've already seen you take Richmond. Well, if you missed the original live stream, that first attempt to take Richmond did not go so well. In fact, it was a downright train wreck. But I've had multiple people who told me it was a really fun stream to watch, and they were really hoping that I would post the failed attempt to attack Richmond for their viewing pleasure. So that's what we're doing here today. Yesterday we posted the first piece. Uh, we launched some uh, brutal frontal assaults on the northern portion of the Confederate line and really have not gotten anywhere. In the center of the Confederate line, we've had more success. We've, we've actually gained a lodgment, taken the objective, and we're starting to peel back the Confederate flanks in the center of their line. In the south, we're maneuvering for an attack, but we have not yet launched that attack, and we're still attacking the outer Confederate works. So if you've ever wondered how do you take the Richmond fortifications, watch the other videos that look at the actual successful attack on Richmond. If you've ever wondered what I shouldn't be doing, this might be a video worth watching. I do get a little bit negative or, or critical at times. That was just due to my frustration. It was late at night. It was a late morning stream, uh, early morning stream. Uh, but with that being said, hopefully some of that bears some entertainment and something worth watching. With that being said, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and step away, and we will uh, rejoin my very frustrated self as I try not to kill my whole army. Thanks, guys. Meet you back up at the end. There's literally no reason for them to occupy those positions. At least we've seemingly overwhelmed them in the south. Alright. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Cook. Who's Cook? Cook surrendered. Where are you, Cook? I don't even see where he is. All right, so we've con we control the southern command point, which is great. All right, bring that up. All right, so the southern command post was indeed lightly defended. That appears to have fallen relatively easy. Easily. Shoot your goddamn volley at them. Really? That's all you got? We're going Russian style here. How do we still hold this trench line either? That doesn't make any sense. I 
I may reload my save just, you know, out of sheer anger for how stupid this whole battle has unfolded. Yeah, maybe this is the army of the dead. Maybe that's why they're still around. But hey, you know, somehow we still hold this victory location. Which I don't quite understand, but hey, I won't complain. These guys are literally in Mayo's rear, and yet his troops are still just like, yeah, whatever, we're good. How, how have all those charges in the north worked out? Seemingly actually okay. Other than losing like half of our army. I think the better tactic next time would be to hit these woods in the north and then swing south rather than going for the objective itself. If I had to do it over again, that's probably what I would do. Here's the other thing is my gut tells me this is not the only battle, right? I'm guessing, or not battle, but the only phase. Post A is now ours. Again, somehow there's troops behind us over here. Swing north. Swing north, my friends. Swing north. Come get them. So, point B is taken, point C is taken, point A is not yet taken, and then we're going to still have to assault the forts to the west. Somehow. Point A to the north has fallen, I guess, temporarily. Despite the fact that we keep charging into a gap that the enemy closes. Oh my god, these casualties are horrendous. Look at these! Well, there won't be another battle to worry about guns, but sure, you're right, they won't be an issue. Meanwhile, wait, what? I can't see anything. Oh. All right. In the meantime, the other part of our army is advancing via the Williamsburg Road a few miles south. Great. 
Uh, the Confederate forces are currently stretched out thin so that only their dismounted cavalry guard these trenches in their nearby fort. I don't believe you. You already told me their position was... Duh. The game lies. I don't know which core this is, by the way. All right, well, it says advance fast, so it's telling me I should probably sprint, which means that we can't melee, so then we're all dead fucking as hell. I'm guessing I should probably use a smarter route, but at this point, I already think I'm going to lose the battle, so... Whatever. Run, my boys, run! Like your life depended on it. Take the forts. Ten, 10 out of 10 would trust this intelligence gathering again. Yeah. Good point. Confederates only have 7,000 troops in this field. We have 20,000. I don't know if I buy that. Because that's a good idea, guys. Stop to volley. That's highly recommended. Don't tell me what to do. So I guess running and wearing all your troops out is a bad tactic, is kind of what I'm learning here. Swing around to the rear! Just run past them. Literally run over their lines. Okay, that actually kind of worked. Somehow 400 men withstood, you know, many thousands. But, and you know, just, just sitting there and taking it is a good idea too. Get around their damn flank. What the fuck? Come on, really? Battle rages on in the trenches. Okay, so we've started moving around their flank, and now we're moving north again. Alright, well, hey, that's cool. Man, this thing just decides we're going to take for fucking ever to move north. Next reinforcements have been delayed. Probably your commanders got lost on the road. We must continue our attack without them, knowing the rebels are still growing stronger. Great. Uh, 
Alright, so I think this position is relatively safe. Gibson surrendered. Good. What I need to do is I need to be able to get these guys behind their fucking lines over here because we're never going to overwhelm them here. But everybody's just too busy dying. We're going to lose this position in the north again. And I don't really know where to expect the enemy reinforcements of the south, so I don't want to completely abandon the objective point down here. Confederate cavalry is attacking our northern flank. That's great. Wow. Gibbon's army's lost over 25, almost 25,000 men. took position A. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Move through the woods. Gibson surrendered. Which one's Gibson again? Oh, they liberated their own troops. Lovely. More rebels are joining their front near the north. Do we really need to take command point A to win? Looks like it. Can I surrender yet, guys? There's no way I'm going to win this battle. There's just no way. I've devolved into Russian tactics here. At least we're stopping their cavalry cold. You guards spotted, bringing up more reinforcements. Just great. Alright, so let's move all of these guys north. And maybe we can sweep them from the south. I'm moving some troops to deal with the fact that there's an enemy force coming up north, you know, from the south. I don't know how many of them there are, but there's some. Alright, so... more reinforcements coming in here just where I need them. How do these guys get behind the rebels like this? These two brigades just showed up like behind their lines. God, look at this carnage. Hey, look, there goes our supplies. No worries. It's not like we'll need more ammo. Everyone's dead anyway. Okay. 
Everybody's dying. Well, at least we've contained Bugard in the south. We've held the center in the in the middle, or we've held the center of the line. We just have no troops left to attack the north. Okay. Rebel cavalry defends the fort. Okay, so we're moving back south. I don't think I'm gonna post this one, guys. Uh, meanwhile, the attack in the... Okay. We're getting more reinforcements in the south, I guess. Where is the fort? Um... Come on, Mahone, get into the fucking rear of their line. Don't shoot from there, get actually behind them. Right, you're behind him. What can a volley of two to one advantages from point blank range behind do? Oh, basically nothing. Good to know. Volleys from the rear are worthless. So that whole maneuver to get around them basically did jack shit. I'm bitter right now. I got a, whole, I got more men than they have in the entire fort in their rear. The fort's exposed from there, and I'm doing jack diddly shit. Hey, you get driven back. Great. Just getting shot at from three directions isn't even enough. Charge, charge, charge. Everybody charge. Hey look, enemy infantry spotted, supposedly. Alright, Young is surrendered. That's good, I guess. Devon surrendered. So we have sort of slowly started pushing them back. Come on. Sir, there's more Yankees than we have bullets.
I, if you can't tell, guys, I'm kind of pissed here. That's why I'm so goddamn quiet at the moment. I'm sorry. This is not going to make it onto the video on demand section of the channel, that's for sure. You're literally at point blank range behind the enemy lines, and you can't cause them to retreat. Like, you're meleeing in their rear! Oh good. How the fuck are you supposed to win this thing? We must prevail. Well, it doesn't look like it. <sighs> Alright, more brigades arriving. So this is what an army of... 200,000 soldiers looks like. Literally borderline unlimited. Well, it looks like we're headed back to the uh, initial grouping of forts that we've attacked. So thus far, just to kind of recap, uh, we have successfully broken the Confederate center and the Confederate south in this particular part of the battlefield. We're trying to turn north to help these guys up because our initial assault waves on the northern Confederate positions have been met with nothing but bloody futility. We're bashing our heads into a brick wall up here. However, with the center and the south overwhelmed, I fully expect to be able to overwhelm the enemy here uh, slowly as we roll them up with our uh, troops that are in a little bit better shape in the south. Meanwhile, that sort of left wing attack, which is part of this uh, particular assault, not on this map, but the map we just came over from. We did push the Confederates out of several of their entrenchments, uh, but we've been very effective at charging and dying in front of a star fort. Uh, with that being said, guys, uh, the outer works were in the process of hopefully wrapping up and attacking these so we can move on to the final assault on Richmond here very shortly. Uh, but we do have a little bit of time here uh, left before that occurs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and step back and uh, we'll go ahead and end this episode here and we'll pick it up uh, where we left off next time. I hope you guys are enjoying this little mini series within a series. As always, feel free to leave your thoughts below and, uh, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Obviously, not the most effective tactics utilized by me, not the best results utilized by me or, you know, accomplished thus far by me. Certainly better in the center and the south, but not so much in the north. Uh, all right, guys, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and step out. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.